Right, let's shoot something. Feels like being home again. The idea, we want to sort of kick into this movie with a lot of urgency. It's just like the race is on. Hey, race is on. We keep saying, oh, can it get any more intense? And then the next week, we start the week out, and we go, yep, this one's more intense than the last week. See? Yeah, I've been playing table tennis a lot. I've been playing mainly with Mark Hadlow and Jed Brophy. Whoa, lovely shot there. I've played probably 20 games, and I'm unbeaten, and I plan to keep it like that. I answered, sorry, mate. Oh, no, it's OK. Georgia, my makeup artist, is uh, telling me off a lot of time for getting my feet all mashed up from the fancy footwear. At least in this bit, I am running from smell. Yeah. And action. Dragon turns to you, coming towards you. It's about to breathe fire. It's going to breathe fire. Flames! Cut. Good. There was some good stuff in there. So we're in the process of putting the final touches on smog at the moment. Um, I'd love to show you, but sorry, you can't. You'll have to wait. Hello? During principal photography, yeah. Pete really didn't have a full idea of what he was going to look like. He has to be very purposeful, yes. you know, very considered. Nothing happens accidentally down the length of his body. The one thing that I actually knew I wanted from the very beginning is to make him just massive. So we're uh, basically just trying to figure out how to shoot something without a big dragon. What he looks like, how big he is, where he's going to go. Smaug's just woken up basically and he knows someone's there and that's what we're in the middle of shooting now. And now standing up and facing the dragon. Smaug's lair had to be something that was very, very impressive. The set is amazing, full of coins, cups, goblets. I'm looking for something. I lost my wedding ring huge mountain of gold. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, this scene here is mainly we're just running away from Dory. We just cannot bear it. <laughs> Beg your pardon? The dragon's bad enough, but then there's you. <laughs> See, this is the tragedy of this whole Hobbit thing. They've got to find someone that they can ridicule and make fun of. I just keep myself to myself and get about my business and try and provide a professional attitude to so we're just going to do a little chasing shot now, so we'll run you boys through and then we'll run you guys through. Okay. Uh, like a car chase. Yeah. <laughs> we're actually connecting a scene we shot last year. Stay where you are. Nobody leaves. This new bit of the scene, we're being chased through the streets of Lake Town. They're all after me. I spent the whole film being chased. The dwarfs have all arrived in Lake Town, and I have heard that there are some disreputable types, but of course Bard is hiding them in, and I need to go and round them up and arrest them for the mayor of Lake Town. Stephen Fry plays the master of Lake Town and we've had a bit of fun finding the character yes. of the master which has evolved into something rather wonderful. Yeah, he's um, I, I, suave, debonair, um, <laughs> almost unutterably handsome. Somebody has to take over a mantle from Orlando Bloom. I saw you shaking that ass. The master has run Lake Town for decades, really, with a fair but firm control. My life is made much easier, though, by the presence of Alfred, who is my servant, confidant, to some extent. I think I'm doing some spying. That's what I'm doing today. Lucky Alfred. Alfred has to empty my chamber pot every morning. And the weird thing is, I rather think Alfred enjoys it. <laughs> Doesn't old Stephen Fry look sleazy? But I expect he's supposed to. Looks like a real politician. One of the surprises about part two of The Hobbit is it's going to really be a, a, a social commentary on good government. <laughs> and hopefully you look forward to learning a lot about politics when you come to see this movie. It's the penultimate day of pickups. Tomorrow we will be done. We've been shooting for weeks and it's all culminated in a couple of days doing some serious overtime. It's the last day after 23 years. Just when we're getting to know each other, stuff. So. Just when you were getting to fall under my spell. It's it. So here we are, the city of Dale. After tonight, it's all going to go. It's all going to be taken away and stored and packed and pretty busy getting this place back to how we found it. Everything's being demolished. 
I think when we finally walk out of Stone Street and it's all clean and clear and everything's packed away that it will suddenly dawn on me that it's over and that I have to go and find another job. People are kind of walking around, not too sure where they're going to go to next, what they're going to do. Oh, hang on one moment. Kia ora, welcome. We're Digital Shane speaking. Get that? Did you get that? Hey. Hopefully, fingers crossed. That's where I'll be going to next. I'm working on it. It's called a reception voice. <laughs> Kia ora, welcome. We're Digital Shane speaking. We're still working. We have a deadline about an hour and a half. <laughs> we are screwed. <laughs> Make sure it's good. Don't screw this up. How have you guys gotten on today? I think we're starting to hit full momentum. Hobbit 2 has a lot of things that we haven't really had to push the envelope on yet. There's a sluice gates fighting down the river with the dwarves. Somebody measured the distance of water that we need to simulate in something like a kilometer and a half. We're dealing with 200 billion pieces of treasure. So from the shoots we did on the mocap stage with this 1.8 tons of gold, we were able to capture all the intricate details of the way the coins interacted with each other. We've got a lot of the spiders done. We've got a lot of smog already done. Hello, smog. Do you reckon we show anything today? Or? We're really kind of in our crunch time. We're in the stage where we see PJ almost daily, so I shouldn't even be here. So I've not heard this uh, myself, guys, so... I'll see what it's like. At the moment, we've got editors all around the building who are frantically cutting sounds to feed into this room. Uh, Gary's like looking at the barrels at the moment. We've got water sounds. We've got some combat for the axes, for the swords. We've got arrow flybys. We've got orc vocals. We've got just tons of stuff in the scene. We are working hard. I mean, we're, we're you know, and, and um, Michael doesn't want me to be interviewed, so he's going to keep rolling with his loud music. Which is a, not, to, not oh. to panic anybody, but where you got to get the movie done. Pete's working around the clock, and so are we, so. And roll. <laughs> Don't save that one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, one more. Let's just do one more. Everything that this camera does is being recorded by the computer. So as I move around, I'm moving around in the virtual world. Oh, gee, where, where the hell am I? Oh, there's a doorway. Well, mostly at this point, we long. We'll be done with this scenario. Have a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. It is like shooting an entire movie in a very self-contained world with one camera. Just like I used to do in the old days. At home, Super 8 camera. <laughs> yep, good. And one last one for luck. Hey, this is Schmaug. It's quite fun. What a good thing to do on a Saturday afternoon. Set. And roll. So I hope that you enjoyed that blog. Now there is one more to go um, before the end of the year. And um, that blog is gonna basically cover what we're doing here in the Wellington Town Hall.